Thanks for staying with us. Uh, you're still watching Your View. However, we are breaking away for a live broadcast for a media chat by the Minister of FCT in Yesom Wiki in Abuja. Your View continues on our UK channel, YouTube, and TVC platforms. Okay, so back to our hot topic for today. Recently, Afrobeat singer Sheung Kuti has waded into the DNA test controversy rocking the nation's social media space. According to him, there is no way that doing a DNA test is not about trust. Doing DNA test is a trust issue, 100%. It's not only a trust issue, it's also a power issue. No man would request for a DNA test if their partners are richer than them. Oh, wow. What are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation and call us on 081076416790902416344. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect using the Your View hashtag on TVC. And you can also stream live on YouTube at TVC Entertainment. Follow our handles at the ladies of Your View. And uh, yeah. So it said mm -hmm. DNA, this DNA matter is now mm -hmm. about trust. And the fact that uh, no man will really ask for a DNA test, you know, if the money is involved, right? Mm -hmm. And um, there was also another DNA, um, you know, story that we wanted to talk about. I'm trying to get it now so that I can just link the two stories. Yes. yes. Uh, however, this particular person says, and the story is quite interesting. It says, um, I recently gave birth and my marriage has hit a rough patch. My husband and I dated for four years before getting married, during which I remained fiercely loyal. A trait my husband boasted about to his family and friends. However, I caught him cheating during our courtship. Fast forward two years into the marriage, my husband sat me down one day and told me he would be conducting a DNA test on our future children, and he wanted me to be aware of it, so it wouldn't look somehow. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward, when she finally gave birth, she decided not to give the child the husband's surname till the DNA test is ready. Maybe this man has said, I, need, I must conduct a DNA test to be sure I'm not going to be raising a child that is not mine. Mm -hmm. And the man was fuming. And family members were calling her out and saying, ah, why don't you give, why are you not allowing this child to have the surname? And she said, I'm only trying to do him a favor. Let's wait, I'm telling you. No, no, it's a DNA matter. Let's wait for the DNA test to come so that I'm sure I'm giving the name to the right child, Abby. So these are the issues. Now let's talk about the DNA and the trust. What do you think about requesting for DNA? If Mr. Aziviri comes now to say, ah, Nimao, I want to do DNA tests yeah, for all my children, how would you take it? <laughs> if he does it um, for me, the, the marriage should be over. It goes to the core of my marriage and my, and my being. If I go to the family I'm from, it's a dent on my image. Wow. Yes, uh, uh, for you to question at this time means there was no trust and they, they, we, we've been wasting each other's time for 15 years. Mm. Don't waste my time, you know. Um, but so, certain circumstances warrant these things, you know. Um, in the case of this woman, you're married to somebody, allow the person have his uh, child. If I born child in your house while we're married, the name it should be. Yeah, let me pause you a bit. I'm still going to retake the first um, notice that I gave. We are still watching your view. Uh, however, we are breaking away for a live broadcast for a media chat by the Minister of FCT, Nyesom Wike, in Abuja. Your view continues on our UK channel, YouTube, and TVC platforms. Okay? Go ahead. Yeah, okay, so um, I was saying that, you know, I, I pride myself with the kind of virtues I was raised with. Mm. I would not appreciate my husband not trusting that, you know, a child, if I was pregnant for somebody else, I would have left him. Mm. Uh, so because of the kind of... You have person, that integrity. Yes. So mm. it goes to questioning my character and oh. my background and family. But then certain circumstances warrant these things, depending on how your relationship is wired, the kind of person you're married to, for whatever reasons. If, for instance, a DNA reveals that one of my children is not my husband, so we are going to the hospital where I born the child. <laughs> <laughs> both of us are looking for the father of the child. Both of us. Mm. For the parents. For the parent of the children. Mm. They may both have swapped. Now two of us go find them because I will not know where to answer the question. To, but certain circumstances, you know, but warranted. But I did not support the woman who has a child just because, you know, the husband said the DNA will be done. He said, no, 
let the child not have your name. No, why don't you support that? You know, she's, that? she's also just dishing him his poison. No. You know, and I, if you want it, you know, but I think it's unnecessary. You're married to him. Let him go and do his DNA. He's the one who wants to deny his children if they are not his children or whatever. I think he should not have um, gone that way. I think differently, but let me come to the ladies. Mm -hmm. Who's well, ready, um, so I feel um, is the audacity of the man in this instance, especially the instance of the husband that cheated in the relationship. Mm -hmm. you, you cheated. Then you have the audacity to question, uh -uh, <laughs> to question my own loyalty and faithfulness. It doesn't even make sense. I, mm -hmm. So um, I think the lady, I support the lady 100%. Because if he had the audacity, he cheated, you forgave him. Mm. And then he, he knows that you've been faithful and loyal in the marriage. And he has the audacity to question you and want a DNA test. You should also, I like the fact that he had the audacity to not give him, uh, to not give your child his, his name. name. Mm -hmm. Give the child, yeah. They said the uh, uh, innocent of uh, uh, proven yes. guilty. Mm -hmm. But this one, she's guilty now, until proven innocent. innocent. Yeah. So no problem, I'll give the child my name. Then when the DNA test comes out... And it's your child. It's your child. No problem, mm -hmm. Oga. Okay? We continue. If it's not your child, Kwano, I give it to the other man. Uh, or I keep my child myself. It's in my, <laughs> it's in my name already. If you have that kind of audacity to do that, then you should also be ready for the consequences too. Yeah. Now, the yeah. issue of trust. Do you think um, people asking for DNA is because they don't trust? You? Exactly. I think, of course, DNA is, um, is a trust issue because if you believe that your partner is faithful that um, your kids, you put together, and then your kids are your kids. Then why are you looking for, why are you asking for DNA? It's different that maybe you're trying to, maybe one of the partners lives abroad, mm. and you're trying to do paperwork, or something happens. Then let's say a child is sick, or maybe circumstance that prevails, that now makes you question that, and you not decide to have a DNA. It's a different circumstance. But when you, as a father, just wake up one morning and say, well, I want to have a DNA on my children, mm. then it's a trust issue. There's something going on in your mind, in your, in your head space, that makes you question the legitimacy of those kids and if actually they are yours. And I also like what um, Shane Kuti said, that people raise orphans. People adopt um, children mm -hmm. and raise them as their own, right? Yeah. Um, I've heard of situations where most uh, men are not able to father children and they agree with their wives to adopt to ad adopt even to for the wife to um to l let the child at least be um linked um to one of them mm. so the, the 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 man allows the woman go take on a, a person's um oh okay uh, to conceive right okay. surrogacy so, surrogacy mm -hmm. even for her to go and do the do mm. and carry the baby yes Just so, so people allowed. have different circumstances and on what and what they can agree on depending on what's going on in their in their lives, yes. right? Yes, so, uh, so I like what he said, like that people can raise other people's children and love them. Are you trying to say that you've raised a child over 10 years or 15 years or 20 years and then you wake up one day because of a DNA test, that child is not yours and then you, you don't love that child anymore. You just stop loving that child. No, but Amaka, I know this is heartbreaking. Before yes, I come is. to the topic, mm -hmm. we've had cases of paternity fraud. Yes. And I don't think people just woke up and started demanding for DNA, mm -hmm. but they've you've given statistics that how many percent of Nigerian children are actually not for their fathers. so called fathers. Yeah. They've given another percentage, if you look at statistics, that the first born child mm -hmm. of every marriage likely may not be from the father. So these things are like landmarks yeah. and track records. And Nigerian men are saying, we can't keep raising children yeah. and finding out in 30 years, 20 years, 10 years that they are not ours. Mm -hmm. We have to do paternity fraud. Mm -hmm. So who should be trusting who in this case? Well, let me come to uh, Topwe. So, um, how will I put it? First side of the story is the side around trust. We all agree. Mm -hmm. DNA shows that there is lack of trust already. If there wasn't lack of trust, you wouldn't be testing to confirm if anything is true. So let's put trust aside. I am wondering about the the part of um, I'm, I'm wondering about the part of the the the. The idea of if it's empowered, if, if, if the woman is financially empowered, you will not do DNA tests. Yeah, no, go let you. Because, not necessarily. I think that in most cases, the DNA, when you come to the point where you are doing DNA tests, you are heartbroken. You have evidence that you just want clarity on the fact that have I been lied to all through this marriage? Now, that person is not thinking about the person who has money or who doesn't have money. 
maybe the conversation will be like maybe an on if someone who, a, a man who is not financially empowered will not think of DNA mm -hmm. because it is when you have money and inheritance to give that you'll be thinking of DNA. I don't think it has to do with whether the wife has money or not. Men find like this is very this is ham viral. I am I have fathered a child or I have fathered children. <laughs> If I begin to doubt that these children are mine or not, it, it's not concern of whether my wife has money or not. It's about me having assurance that these children are mine. And it shows a breakdown of trust. It shows that there are many challenges in that marriage already, that this is just one of the fruits of a very bad marital tree that we're trying to deal with. And the idea of, okay, um, financial empowerment, yes. It, only a rich man would like, think of doing... DNA, but I don't think it has to do with the wife. Mm. Another category that I came, the other person that was in this same story, this woman who now gave birth, for me, there should be no marriage. I don't understand. Why would you marry somebody that is telling you mm -hmm. that it will do DNA test on the children? Before, before pregnancy. Before, mm -hmm. be, be, as in, he told you before you got pregnant and you married that person. Mm. What kind of desperation is that? Mm. Then what kind of vindictiveness is in the woman to think that I would give the children my name? Both of you, your head. They is, married each other. You need to be re examined. <laughs> Both of you have mental they issues. They married each other. <laughs> like, what kind of system is that one? The wife said, I will give them my own name. Until, mm -hmm. I'll give the child my name until you prove they are your own. Yeah, but is she wrong? Wow. Is she then wrong? she's bitter. Like, as in, my life is too important. My goals are too big. Many okay. souls are perishing. For me to start being petty and marry someone who already says he does not trust me, then I'll not give why the person my own name. Uh -uh. But she doesn't trust him because he will marry in the first place. Why did they go on with the marriage? Exactly. She caught him cheating. Mm -hmm. And oh, forgave yes, him. Forgave him. Mm -hmm. She forgave him and then he summons her and says he will do a DNA. That's the point you will ask. What are your reasons? End of mm. discussion. You think that I want to use my own cheating to return your cheating that yeah. I caught you I, doing? If yeah. you know that, because then at that point, we have trust issues. Mm. Don't even enter. Because mm. I cannot imagine waking up and burning shit for somebody inside his house. And then giving my own name. And then start the drama of, you will take my name. You know, the back and forth is mm. unnecessary. Mm -hmm. you, could have, you could have avoided it. That's my stance. But, but her feelings are valid. Anyway. Very her valid, though. Her feelings are valid. Even though maybe she doesn't want to leave yeah, her she marriage. Is. Yeah, she, she, she went loves her marriage. husband yes, she and everything, right? Her feelings are valid. That You see, I, I, she's trying to express herself to her husband. Like, this thing you did, it hurts me. But then she's trying to express it in a certain way. And she, she's not saying, I'm going to, the child has to bear my name forever. Mm. The child has to, at least for the birth certificate, the child should bear my name. They should bring we certificates. You can't change it later, later when the DNA results. They didn't even give them birth certificates yes, from the hospital. But there was a, <laughs> the confusion. Yes, the confusion is there. So I, I personally think that um, there's nothing wrong in asking for a DNA test. I think I've said this before. I would not take it personal. You know, just like um, how you want to find out the uh, genotype of your partner in marriage. There was a time it was strange, but now we have come to accept it that you need to be sure two of you are not ASAS so you don't end up having SS children and then put yourself in trouble. You know, like how you want to find out your uh, blood group, you know, how you want to ask questions about your uh, family, your genealogy, where your people came from, what your mother's character is and what your father's character is. That's how I see DNA, right, as far as I'm concerned. Because especially of what men have been going through over the years where they get, you know, so for a man, when you commit the crime and you impregnate somebody outside, you bring the child. Even if you don't bring the child, somehow the, the, the woman is not raising a child that she's not aware of that is not her child. But for the man, it's strange because now the man is raising children that he's not aware. So if you're aware and you choose to, like the case you, mm. a, 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 example like the surrogacy mm. and the adoption, you know that I'm taking this person as my child and I'm going to love this child, I'm going to raise this child, this is what God has given me. You know, you're prepared. But now we have men who are raising children thinking that they are their seed and their blood and they're not aware. So asking me for a DNA test is not something I'm going to be upset about. Yeah. I don't think you don't trust me. I just think you want to be safe. And of course, if it has happened somewhere around you before, it's enough for you to be afraid. I should because no, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trauma. Because nobody, listen, now, it's not about trauma now. Nobody, wait now. Nobody would like to have this happen to them. Yeah, but the man is traumatized. And because... You are traumatized. I will help you no, no, relieve no, no, yourself no, no, of the trauma. No, no, no. I will we're not missing, take it personal. There's a part of the tweets that we're missing. You know, Shewan also said it's a power issue. Oh, now yes. let's go down with the way patriarchy 
you know, disempowered women. Yeah, true. Mm. Go ahead. It goes to the core of you. Yes. In those days, they used to take the white cloth and red blood stain. To show that to you're show, a virgin. You know, they did all testing? of these things. Mm -hmm. And we, we, some of us started to live by the books. We don't want problem. Mm -hmm. Now come and reinvent problem. I, I will give you problem back. Because the truth is, it's the power issue. Mm -hmm. When you have your children, in, those, in some families, they will carry the child. The year, no stand. Mm -hmm. Not knows. like MKO children. Mm -hmm. the, <laughs> this one, you know, they start the from photo DNA. You know, some women will be happy that the first child is when you are getting, you not look at all the children, they look like a certain person. Ah, let me recarry you now for nine months. Mm. Why don't you even look like me? You know? So men want that power. They do it. Some just do it for no reason. You, can, you could have been a woman that lived well, lived by the books. Even the man did not feed you like the one we took yesterday. You know, empower you, know anything, but he will ask these children. You know, they, uh, I don't want to use that word on TV, but some fathers will just look at child and say, the way you are behaving, you are not my child. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use the negative word they usually yes. use. Yeah. They will look at a child, maybe the child is not agreeing or believing in the way they do, or the child grew up seeing the father being the worst kind of example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this child just chooses, I will never be like him. Mm -hmm. He will just look at the child and say, you don't look like me. You don't behave don't like you me. Don't you think and DNA would have taken out that? Okay. Uh, but let's even, take this Even with DNA, right. you think he won't say it? No, no, no. It is, but then he knows it, deep down that he's child. This goes down to the core of patriarchy. Mm. I am not saying mm. if there are suspicious reasons mm. that a woman lived or carried herself a certain way that the man requires the DNA, he shouldn't do it. I'm not saying that. Mm. Let's take she this call. Oh, the call. Go, go ahead, go ahead. The call is gone. So yeah. what I'm saying now is um, a man should have the right Mm. to say they would like to have a DNA. Mm. If you, my husband comes today to say, I want to have a DNA. Mm. I'm not, no, no, listen, no. I will, we will go and have it. This year we agree, but there's, there will be consequences. There's no consequence. DNA. There's no consequence. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, BC. See, I'm just telling you about me. Let's, let's, I'm, let's, I'm putting myself let's, here now on the table. Let's for a DNA around mm. Nigeria. No. Yes, as we are calling her Bessie mother for to do DNA for her child. And I'm wondering, what do you want to do with the results? Except the no resources to friends. clarify something. Yeah. If she doesn't so, want, it's okay. Just as Amaka said, you are mm. going abroad, you are traveling to a certain country, don't be sure you are bringing your own biological children. Mm. You, you will not be forced to do the but same DNA you are dodging. Pretty, pretty, pretty in your marriage. Mm. I'm saying, you're yes. sitting pretty in your marriage. Both of you went before the Lord mm. and do I do's. And you are sitting pretty in your marriage. Mm -hmm. And then you look at her, just look at her. Mm -hmm. And because we human beings have the capacity to fall, Nima. Hey. In a bond. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> you do not. Do human beings have the capacity to fall. Okay, let me say yeah, something. Yeah. And somebody may have fallen along the line. Without a person. Yeah. And nobody yeah. hurts. You doubt a person and the person is forced to prove themselves. No, there should be yeah, consequences. Yeah, so let me, let me say something, please. right? Tell okay, us. so we're looking at this. Let's look at it from a different perspective. How about a situation whereby both parties are being played? In this instance, I feel like how you communicate something to your partner or to whoever mm. is important, right? You can achieve the same results, but then go, find a better way to go about it. How about the man telling his wife, like, baby, you, you know, we see what's been going on in the world and in hospitals where they keep swapping babies, things keep happening and stuff. Yeah. I think for our own safety, so that we don't wake up in 10 years' time. Uh, it, it's a, you have to be emotionally intelligent when dealing with someone you love, mm. when dealing with people. Then Communication. You love, do you understand? Because mm -hmm. his brain should like uh, should tell him that if the roles were reversed, that he won't feel okay being treated in that particular manner, especially in a situation where you've been caught cheating mm -hmm. in the past. So you say, baby, see what's going on. They are, in fact, they're this friend of mine, they stole his baby at the hospital and exchange. Come up with any whatever story to like to still get what so you like, want. It doesn't to get. look like you Wouldn't doubt. Wouldn't that be a lie? Like, no. but let me pause you, Amaka. Let's take this call, Rotimi, before we lose it again. Good morning, Rotimi. Good morning, this is. God bless the ladies this morning. Thank you. God bless you too, sir. <laughs> Some, sometimes I, I feel restricted calling you guys on this video because every issue that concerns you, in, apart from this this morning, this ladies will always want to castigate men. Let me tell you, this DNA issue and paternity issue, if this thing was on the other way around, if it is against women, if it was men that man needs to do DNA on and bring an illegitimate child to a woman to be trained, women in Nigeria will apply to National Assembly to make a law to punish any woman in marriage that brings a bastard to the husband's home when the man conducted DNA and got to do a 
A lot of them have died in the summer of this school. How can you be in the so corruption? You know, after you spend five years, and you now recover, after you have a few months of age, now you recover, this is somebody else's children. It is appalling. And it's only the women to rise up against this thing. I expect you guys to rise up against this thing, to stand against any man woman that is married. Nima has a question for you, sir. Go outside the, the marriage yeah. and bring. I think you came late to the party. Yeah. Mm. So DNA has been happening. It's, it's not only yeah. that medical people came. Mm. Ask him the question. Yes, I'm asking him. Mm. Have you not seen in your culture that women are made to drink from a certain pot to prove the paternity of children? Yeah. To put their fa prove their faithfulness in marriages. Mm -hmm. To do all sorts of un un unnecessaries. Yeah. If a woman's husband dies, did they if a man's wife dies, did they bat his cut his hair and put him through rigorous burial rites? Uh, uh, it is uh, women. Uh, wait a minute. It is women who have been made to go through this. That's if that's a that's man... That's 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 let him I'm very calm. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, just, just the history of just all of these now. practices to, to, let, to let, today, what did let, men let do give, about let it? Give, let me give you a scenario for what you just mentioned earlier. Okay, a child me, acting strange against the original owner of the family. This thing happened to one of my aunties. This my auntie. She is over 60 years now. She got to know her dad. Not up to three years before the mother died. The mother died this year, early this year. Now, she is the eldest. She has younger ones who have grown. But her character is different totally from the other siblings. She is the first daughter of the family. But the other did not tell her that this mm. person you are telling your father is not your father. This auntie has, she has about four grandchildren. Her own children have gotten married. Both boys are dead. They are all settled. Before she got to know who her biological father was. This is how big young woman can be. You guys must raise your voice about this thing. I do not, I do not appreciate you guys trying to bring in the issue of men always on your program, particularly maybe probably because it's a gender program issue. You guys will try and not national assembly or state assembly and sponsor a bill that will punish a woman that stays in the husband's house and bring that aside that after DNA has discovered this. This is destroying the value of women in our society. Thank you so much. Thank you. So but we're doing, yes, we're, we're doing our job so here. We cannot sit. Character. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Okay. I don't think character of any child is determined genetically. No, no, not at all. By the circumstance of their upbringing. Yeah, exactly. The environment. Yeah. So if, mm -hmm. that, that's the point itself. Mm -hmm. To have a child who is different from you is mm -hmm. not an, an issue of DNA. Mm -mm. You, there must be other circumstances that warrant it. Mm. But so look at a woman in a marriage, mm. maybe because of the way you've treated her, make her drink from a certain pot mm. to prove innocence. I know a certain culture, I'm not going to mention here, mm -hmm. that when a woman is pregnant, she must go through certain of those rights. Yes. Calabashis and all of that. Yes, many of our certain things. She True. won't go through, she don't go through and finish, don't burn shine. Mm. Some, in some cultures, in the end, end of Lagos, yes. one end of Lagos, they will do under rain. They will say she should bring the child under her and she should not fall on the child. What are we proving? Mm. Then when you have proven it, you have done everything by the books. The man looks at you and says, okay, I want a DNA. And you, you, you do a DNA, you say there will be no consequence. Mm. If, you call my, if you call my child illegitimate, mm. I don't want to use the word they usually use to address it. And it's proven that you are wrong. You say you will just go to sleep. You just be happy. Uh, uh, there must be another so consequence. So let me take this cup, I know Amaka has been holding. We have David from Mushin. Good morning, David. Good morning. How are you, my beautiful sister? We are doing amazing, sir. Yes, very much. Uh, please, this thing of a thing that you are sounding this way, it's not that easy like that, my sister. If your husband should come to you today and uh, tell you that, Madam, I want to do the end, you will feel some, uh, because of the trust, I will already disappear immediately. Because at first, why moving with someone you don't trust? If you don't trust somebody, it's better you break up than moving with such person, then breaking the person's heart along the line. Because I cannot imagine my sister or brother myself telling my sister that he wants to do DNA for their kids. Ah, then after conducting the DNA, then the result came out that the child are is. Then, which eye do you want the people, the children themselves, to, to look at their father? They won't know now. Ah, they won't know. Uh, uh, they just go uh, to the hospital for a checkup. They won't know. Let's not make it true. And tell her, <laughs> what if the woman is angry one day and out of her pool, she speaks out? Uh, is that not the way you think your children are bad? They're one of them. Abby. 
Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Se você está na casa de alguém, você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Eu não sei se você está na casa de alguém. Anybody can ask for anything in a relationship, in marriage, how you ask. Do you understand? It's important. You can still get the same result. It, and, uh, you know, BC, you are saying that maybe is it, uh, that means it's lying. It's not lying when I'm being emotionally intelligent I'm t and I tell my wife, like, babe, see what's going on in, uh, around. And it's actually happening around the world. Yeah, see what's happening. People steal people's <coughs> babies and stuff. Please, can we conduct a DNA test immediately? Um, our baby is born to be sure that the hospital gave us our own child. Mm. When you come from that perspective, I'm going to say, ah, this my husband is so intelligent, ah, so smart. Ah, baby, you're right too. So you make sure that you're there. Immediately I bring out the baby, they should carry the baby, blah, 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 and run the test. You still get the same results, but now you haven't stepped on the woman's um, um, integrity, integrity emotions. emotions, and everything, right? You say you can because you say, do you understand? Because you feel like I step on it. Because if you love somebody, then the second thing I want to ask the first caller now is so, who now protects women? What law protects women against their husbands that keep shitting out babies everywhere? Mm. Mm. It's the same thing. You see, the, you see the, in Africa, uh, you know, it's yeah, it's patriarchy. We, you, you want DNA to make sure that. The baby is your baby mm -hmm. and your delivery. And that, should, that be, should that be a wrong should, thing Should to that want? be a wrong thing to want? Yeah. Do you understand? Let me take this call, please. We have another caller. Ola Jumoke. Good morning. Good morning, lady. Good morning. I'm a first time caller. Welcome and I always enjoy the program. Thank you. Well, the, the, program, the topic today is very, very interesting. And the truth is that most of the time, thank you, we always love to deceive ourselves emotionally. Mm. Emotion is what has been put there. And whether we like it or not, no matter how anyone is trying to kill that your emotion, it must, it must reflect. Either facially or in one way or the other. I just want to go with Nima. The truth is that for you asking for a DNA test, something must have occurred. And you don't expect to go ask. Somebody you have lived with, you have trusted for a long time. You have put down everything just because to, just to be together. <laughs> and suddenly you come to ask for a DNA test. The truth is that when the, even if you agree to it, once the issue is over, honestly speaking, the relationship can never be the same. Mm. Then certainly, somehow, somehow, human begins to think what has brought up this issue. What made the husband to think of bringing up a DNA test? You begin, you, somehow you begin to say, we mustn't deceive ourselves. So and that's why I will go with Amaka also. Even if you think you want to have it, don't, don't demoralize your, your partner. Mm -hmm. Ask Communication. for it in an intelligent yeah, way. You. Don't ask because you just... When do we start bringing up a DNA test, especially in Nigeria today, it is because of certain issues that brought it up. So we should not deceive ourselves. <laughs> DNA test comes... Test comes or because you have a reason that you have doubted in one way or the other. So we must be intelligent. Don't just destroy what you have been building for a very long time. Suddenly, and, and the man that uh, spoke the last time, a, a, a caller before the other caller, uh, I don't know why he's just getting so emotionally uh, angry unnecessarily. Mm. Uh, women, women also must fight for their rights. There are so many things women are suffering, True. and you are just keeping quiet because you can't just fight for it. True. You just must be quiet, True. especially in that today, our, our nation, our Nigeria for today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so for, much. Thank you. Yeah. You were finishing. Okay, so I was finishing. So, like, like I said, please, someone should please let me know what test I would conduct. So when I get married, I will know if my husband is popping out babies outside. I just want to know if there's a test for that. That's all, because that's the only thing that can justify you stepping on someone's emotions like this without and being emotionally no intelligent and no consequence. And say no consequence. That's it. My point is, Fray, say uh, no uh, consequence. Uh, Elonima, I'm uh, not understanding. My point is, What's what your point? Wait, so wait, wait, just a moment. The point. consequence I'm my point. So Let me make a point. <laughs> Let me <laughs> make a point. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. what we are discussing mm -hmm. as a society like the norm is a very unusual, sad scenario. Mm -hmm. 
mm. scenario where a woman deceives the husband mm. by giving the husband children that don't belong yeah. to him mm. is a sad scenario, is a wrong scenario, is a unkoti oda oda, and it is happening. Yes, it is. So the reason we're having DNA That's scandals come up more is because as Jack is happening, there is a lot of DNA um, requests in the Canadian embassies and all that other embassies, and people are finding out disturbing disturbing information mm. so we should not normalize what is wrong mm. what is wrong is dna question only comes up where something is wrong mm. in an ideal setting we are both faithful to one another so we're saying now we don't have we... an 100 percent ideal setting mm -hmm. but when you came up with your question bc i said any man that is in a relationship with his partner doesn't trust his partner enough to be saying let's have or say oh i trust you so much but i just i just need to do a dna test for me, you cannot trust me and want to do a DNA test. It's already showing you don't trust me. So let's say you have a trauma to deal with. You need to find a way to deal with it that does not insult me. Mm -hmm. Because when, the moment you ask me for DNA test, it means you are insulting me that I'm sleeping Finish. around mm -hmm. and I have brought a child that is not your own, mm -hmm. likely into the house. Mm -hmm. That is the fact. Mm -hmm. DNA question is you have brought a child in. Mm -hmm. Do people, women bring children into the house? Yes. But you should have evidence before bringing up DNA conversation. Exactly. And if there is evidence, eh, hey, we can have that conversation. That woman that said, mm. give him my child, give, I'm giving my child my own name, mm. knows that the <clears throat> husband has no evidence. Mm -hmm. So she's reacting. Mm. Let's not, like I said, not normalize what is wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's not normalize a scenario that is, is like saying, oh, we're we, um, taking, you know, we take medicine. We, mm. we use malaria mm -hmm. medicine like it's multivitamin in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He's normalizing what is wrong. And it has his own side effects as well because mm -hmm. it creates a society where mm -hmm. Miss Norma becomes normal. Yeah, let's take this call, Grace from Portacot. Good morning, Grace. Oh, we lost Grace. So what I, I hear all of you, mm. and I agree with you people, right? But what I'm trying to say is, is there any way we can protect both parties? Because sometimes when these laws come about, it seems like ah, they are attacking my morality. They are attacking my integrity. They are attacking this. They are attacking that. But we're not seeing the greater good of this is just like a measure put in place to protect both parties. It could be protecting your husband from you that lies and has gone outside to go and mix children. We've seen a lot of them, and we have to protect one another. Mm -hmm. It could be protecting you from crazy um, uh, hospital caregivers who swap children for money. Mm -hmm. It could be protecting you from anything. Can we just make it in such a way that we understand that uh, it's not something about me distrusting you. It's just that I need to be sure from the beginning. We've seen cases where the children finally find out that the person who raised them, who they knew as father, was not their father. Mm -hmm. And he put a dent into the relationship. The children, as adults, have emotional baggage they carry from it. There's trauma from that. The husband he, he, he is um, traumatized from that. Years of thinking you are doing this right and realizing after how many years that you have missed it. Shouldn't we stop it from the beginning? So at the beginning, everybody knows where they are going to. That's just what I'm saying. I'm not saying um, it's not, um, is, is, is right or is wrong. I'm just saying, is there a way we can protect ourselves yeah. by starting this DNA from the hospital? Even As they're the born and they're the checker. Start it from the hospital. Why are we even bothering to marry? Let's contractualize our marriage. I don't understand, Nima. Yes, now, when you are marrying somebody, both of you are coming in, trusting, loving each other. And at birth, you're questioning the chastity of or character of one party. It's not question. No, now, now who born? I that they always test now. It's the patriarchy here that we're discussing here. It's the patriarchy <laughs> and the abuse of women over the years in African cultures. We test women. We test them at giving birth. We test them at marrying them. We test them at giving birth. We test them after raising the children. We, but nobody, where is the test as uh, uh, Amaka asked? So test, so we the, test men. the men. We're going to find that test. But let's so you take will this see call. the men, yeah. Waka we and so wild oats. And then the they the marry. At the bear, <laughs> the they will see. No, when the bear, the bear ceremony, they don't have big one small town. Wait now. Uh, we just say we should introduce the driver. Into sand. Mm -hmm. When the man is mm -hmm. let him to sand. Let him to poor sand. If he tells the woman at that barrier, she's not patient. She don't have a large She has killed the man. Let her husband try it. It's too much. Let's take this call. Solomon from Ketu. Good morning, Solomon. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm first time caller. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, let's be sincere here. Let's not be biased. Two wrongs doesn't make it right. Mm. If you want to put it, this DNA test, I can't imagine, like, I, I got married to somebody, I trust her before I married her. Then I paid for like 15, <coughs> 20 years, then one scenario just brought up, then. 
uh, discovered that uh, she was not my, uh, the child is not my uh, son or daughter. I, I, don't, I can't imagine what will happen. You understand? Okay, the trust that I had, that I had for her, okay, what happened to those trust? Yeah. And again, I understand what Nima is saying, that uh, uh, other things that have happened in the past regarding women and all that. Okay, does that not justify it doing it to the man? You understand? And again, uh, men, some men, we, we even uh, demoralize all those things that happened against women in the past. And we always stand uh, on it. Look at women supporting women. It's not necessarily women. Men mostly come out to support women. Yeah. So in this kind of a thing, is what is bad is bad. Mm. I trusted a woman before I married her. You understand? Then DNA says, no matter I'm not supposed to do a DNA test. But all these things is shocking. Yeah, it is. Very, very. I can't imagine at 15 years, 10, 12, Nothing came up to you. It's not like the man just got it out or something. Maybe one thing. Look at that footballer. Look at that. Uh, ah. Man, seriously, it's very, very disturbing. Yeah, it is disturbing. Thank you so much uh, for this. We have to go. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up this conversation. And I hope that uh, we have taken the sides that we want. You know, if you are for DNA, if you are against DNA, whatever it is, just uh, communicate nicely, yes. Just like Amaka said, you have to learn to communicate to your partner, emotional intelligence, pay attention to how they really feel when you're bringing up uh, topics like this. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we move on to yet another segment. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.